Hello everyone, I've been getting questions on how I make my edits look like this. For this tutorial, we'll be using After Effects for our editing software. After you create your composition, go to Layer, create a new solid layer, and name it Background. Apply a gradient ramp to this layer. and change the start color to any color you want. For this instance, we are going to use red. Make sure your start color is lighter than your end color. Change the ramp shape to radial. And to get rid of these little jagged lines right here, we'll change the wrap scatter to roughly 200. Get that smoothness. There we have a nice gradient background. Create another solid and name it Center Light. Apply a fill effect to the Center Light layer. I'm gonna change the color to yellow. Make sure the Center Light layer is highlighted and press R on the keyboard for, for the rotation to pop up. And we're gonna rotate this 45 degrees. Press S, pull up the scale, and we're going to scale it up. Now we're going to create a mask for this layer. Make sure that the layer is still highlighted. Go to the toolbar and click the rectangle tool or Q on the keyboard. And then just make a rectangle. To smooth out the edges so you don't have this hard sharp line click on the mask down here below change the mask feathering to 250 and the mask expansion to negative 40 to get that nice smooth blend i'm going to duplicate the center light layer by pressing ctrl c and ctrl v on the keyboard we're going to rename it shadows delete the fill effect in the effects control tab and we're going to apply a fractal noise effect. Click transform, uncheck the uniform scaling and change the width to 4,000 and the scale height to 20. Now this is when you want to start messing with the contrast and brightness. You can adjust the brightness and contrast to your liking but for the video we're going to use a thousand for contrast and for the brightness we're going to use 60. now that the lines are adjusted to your liking in order to get the animation effect you'll need to mess with the x offset turbulence create a keyframe in the beginning and change the x to value to any ridiculous number below zero for this instance we're probably gonna go with like 9,000. Then move the time indicator towards the end of your video and change the X value again to any number above zero this time. Uh, we'll probably go 11,000 for this one. And now we have our animated lines. Now we're going to change the blending mode multiply and we're going to add a CC toner effect change the tones to du duo tone and change the shadows any color you would like but for this instance I really like how the black lines look but I think they look a little too bold so I'm changing the shadow color to white to give it a soft, softer look. And boom, now you have lines running in the background. You 
want the lines to go in a certain direction, just simply rotate the shadow layer. The lines will go in any direction that you rotate it to. Let's say I want the lines to go in the opposite direction. Just rotate it. Adjust it. Boom, you have your lines. Now, if you want two different colors going side by side, create a new solid and change, change the name to split. I'm going to rotate this layer to around negative 29.5 degrees. And try your best to align it. After you've done that, Hold shift and click on the shadow and center light layer. Press control C and then control V to duplicate it. After they are pasted, move these new layers above the split layer. And now you can rotate both the center light and the shadow layer around 150 degrees. Reposition them to fit in the empty space. And if you want a different color, go to center light and change the color to any light to any color. For this instance, we're going to use blue. Adjust uh, the line layer. Now I want these lines to go in opposite direction, so I'm going to adjust the shadow layer. Oh, they're going in the same direction, so I'll just rotate it the other way. Now you see how we have this purple right here? I want that to go away. We'll go back to the center light. Drag this line down a bit. Not too much, just a little bit. We'll adjust the shadow layer again. Line up right with the, the split. Now we have two lines going in opposite directions. Now you have two different colors going in opposite directions, giving that one-on-one -on -one fight intro type of feel. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Just a reminder, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 8 p.m. Central. Link will be down in the bio. Check out my socials for any surprise streams and channel updates, and click that subscribe button.